to the edge, he can't do anything. You don't even play Sheik in like a lame way at all. Really? Wow. Got it. Alright, so we got Fox versus Marth. Match Marth, a, ma a, ma a match we can say something about. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so basically, this matchup is about... Okay, so the, Marth, the Marth is actually the aggressor. Yeah. And when the Fox plays as the aggressor, they lose. Okay. So, you as Fox, you have to think, I'm zoning Marth. Because <laughs> if you treat him like a zoner that you're trying to work your way in on, it's really rough. Like, you really want to focus on, like, oh, like, like, you do want to, like, I'm not saying you never want to approach, right? But, like, you really want to be trying to bait Marth. Like, this is pretty, outside of that nair, I was going to say that was really good Fox play against Marth, not committing to anything. Sure. Because it's basically, like, so Marth has amazing options against Fox, but they're all really hard commitments. Even if you detailed... Fox can randomly drill you and take your stock out of that drill Jeez. with up throw, up air, up air, up air, bear, or whatever. Of like, it's very, very deadly. Yeah. So, like, as a Fox, if you just keep running in, you're making Marth's commitments almost all viable because you're, you're close enough that his commitments might hit. Sure. So what you really want to do is make Marth feel like if he commits ever, you just wait and you punish it. So that makes him not commit, which makes him sit in, sit in idle more. Like idle as in like dash or jump, like idle, idle like as in not doing a move. Okay. So you, you want to play defensive enough that he can't just throw stuff out. Right. Like if you're losing to aggressive Marth, then like that's pretty, that's like not good. It's kind of just like the Fox thing. If you're like losing to an aggressive player, just run away and laser for a while. Not necessarily laser. No, Laser's yeah. not that great on this stage specifically. No, it's, he'll rush you down pretty quick if you try to run But I get what you're saying. Like especially on like FD and stuff. Mm. Sometimes you really do want a laser. Also, use the crush. Crushes crush crushes down tilts change this matchup heavily. You just run right at a Marth, and as soon as you're in the range to um to shine them, doing a running shine, you crouch down tilt. And what they'll always, always, always try to do is they'll try to pivot grab your, your running shine. Uh, and the down tilt hits them every time. That's beautiful. So Crush is, Crush is basically the only non-Leffen fox in the world with a positive record on Zane. Interesting. And that's because he hits with that down tilt literally three times as a stock. Like, no joke, he gets so many openings out of it. And it's still not standardized. It'll be standard in a couple of years. All yeah. the foxes will do it. For it sure. takes people a lot longer to copy than it should. Like, literally, Leffen's been doing the Leffen from 2014, and it took people several years to f start looking like Leffen. Now every fox kind of plays like Leffen, but Leffen is now doing a ton of new stuff, and none of them are picking it up. <laughs> They're all playing like Leffen four years ago. <laughs> you know, it just works for a little while, and then... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you realize now you got something new. got to innovate. Like, Leffen's drill grab game is so good now. Like, my drill grabs are awful. They're horrible. I have worse drill grabs than every noob I know. And I've been grinding them a little bit because I'm really bad at it. I've landed more drill grabs this tournament than I've landed at any other event in my whole life. And that's because I've gone for more of them. <laughs> I just defaulted to shine for so many years out of the drill that breaking the habit is so difficult. That's hard. And especially because the tech skill is a bit interesting, where like you L cancel, I L cancel with L, and then you hold L and you mash A. And that's a bit odd for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm doing my best to practice it, but a lot of times I'll end up doing L cancel here, and then I'll press Z, and then I'll, if you press it one frame early, you get a light shield, and so it's not it's not a good idea. Huh? Did you say one frame early? Like if you're early at yeah. all, if you're if you if you if you're not already actionable, you will get the light shield. Like that's just how it works. Like yeah. anytime, right? If you yeah. if you hold R, it buffers the light shield. Makes sense. So that's why you shield and then you just mash A. 
so that the worst the thing that happens is you're late by the three frames or so it takes you to mash, sure. depending on how fast your mashing is. Right. And you still try to get the right timing, but if you mess it up, the worst that happens is you're like two or three frame, frames late instead of light shielding where you get grabbed by them or you get anything by them. So I really got to really gotta get better at that. That was not a real up air. The Marth could have SDI that. This is the most even Marth versus Fox stage in my opinion. Yeah. I think uh, I think Marth honestly does disturbingly well against Fox. <laughs> but on this stage, I, it, I've never felt like Marth had an had an advantage. No. That's fair. I mean, this stage in Fountain, I think, are Fox's best stages against Marth. I mean, excluding Stadium, I always forget about Stadium because. Stadium is just lame because as Fox, honestly, you shouldn't really play the main transformation. Sure. I think Marth is actually better than Fox there. Because like I said, it's FD with, with platform tippers. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I think... Oh. What, he should have uh, dropped through up aired probably there. Yeah. That was a good nair. I wouldn't have chosen that. I would have juggled him more, which is which would have been worse. The downside of Mars and Air is if someone tries to uh, hit up on the same frame, or like that they get hit, or like they hit during hit lag, right? Then they a lot of times they avoid it. Like you can SDI up out of Mars and Air a lot of times, but people don't do it very often. All right, yep. The Fox wins it 2-0. And I believe that takes us into top eight. That'll be top eight, yeah, so. Oh, wait. That guy won? He's my doubles partner. Jared, I yeah, think? Yeah. 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 Good job. And you guys obviously took doubles, yeah? Yeah, we yeah. took doubles. We didn't drop any games. Hey, there 